Welcome back to tuning into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3. We're talking some property right now, and it's rather unusual not to have Simon Bray, the CEO of Private Property, with us in studio, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to catch up with him because currently he is in Spain. Simon, good morning. I mean, what takes you there apart from the lovely, uh, the lovely European summer at the moment? Yeah, I mean, the weather is beautiful here, sunny, hot, just like home. But uh, we're actually here in Spain for an annual workshop that we do with some of the top European property websites. Uh, uh, we meet and we discuss business issues, strategy. Uh, we're lucky enough to have been part of their setup for about six years now. Uh, some of those websites include, you know, the top Spanish portal, Idealista, uh, Immobilien Scout 24 from Germany, uh, Immo Scout from Switzerland, uh, Irish Portal and Right Move from the UK. So, you know, a number of these businesses are huge businesses in, in property marketing. Uh, they multi billion dollar businesses in the case of Right Move and Immo Scout in Germany. So, it's a very exciting opportunity for us to sit and work with these guys on ideas uh, and share some of the successes we've had in the last year and vice versa. Uh, unusual, but, but a great opportunity to share. Absolutely, my man. But as you say, what an amazing opportunity to kind of learn and develop new ideas. What are some of the exciting trends you've seen in property marketing while you've been there so far? Well, I think uh, some of the very exciting things for us um, has been around content marketing. A lot of these uh, businesses are focusing on more than just the listing. So right move said it quite interestingly. They said it's it's not only the listing stupid. Uh, it's a lot more than that. And I think that's what we um, that's what we learned uh, in particular. Uh, Idealista, for example, the Spanish portal have got a full blown property news section. They looked at as the property news maker in Spain. Uh, so that's fascinating. You know, it's more than just advertising properties online. It's connecting with uh, people around property on a lot more ideas. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why we're talking to you. Expresso, uh, we want to be a lot more as a, as a property business than just an online listing website. So that was one of the key uh, things that we took away from our workshop. The other is how hard all of the businesses are working to uh, build relationship with their estate agents that, that advertise on their platforms. Uh, so you've got guys that are really um, pushing this idea of partnership. Uh, they, they're building tools, they're building uh, interfaces, they're building reports that really make their their estate agents look like experts in their field. And I think that was quite interesting for us. We want to do a lot more of that back home. Um, and I think another thing that's exciting is every single one of these businesses is becoming a big brand in their market. They're becoming a consumer brand. I mean, wherever I go in Spain, I see these idealistic billboards or buses that come past. So there's a, there's a lot more of traditional media being utilized than just online media. Uh, and that's one of the reasons we're here in Spain, actually, is we're trying to grow the footprint of private property as a brand. Uh, we're supporting the South African women's hockey team, and we're here in Valencia for a big uh, international tournament that they're involved in right now. Oh, there we go. And you also mentioned the hockey team. I believe you are, like you said, there to support the SA women's team in Valencia. How is the team looking, uh, the team looking at the moment? Yeah, team's looking good. Uh, you know, I've, I've seen a couple of their training sessions already and the girls are looking sharp and fit and really motivated for the tournament. So I think that they're going to have a good a good time. But the competition is stiff. You know, this is the semi-finals of the World League and you've got some big teams here. Uh, they start off uh, against Ireland. We're hoping they do very well. Um, and I'm sure they'll make us proud back home. Uh, I would encourage everyone Everybody, you know, watching to support them, maybe check out our Facebook page. We'll be keeping uh, people updated through the Facebook page during the tournament. And, uh, you know, hop online and, and show them your support. They're certainly uh, working hard to make us proud. Absolutely. They definitely are making us proud. Now, even though you are traveling all over the world and enjoying your European summer, we can't go without your tip of the day. What can you share with us from all the way over there? Well, I think it's exciting. You know, the workshop and the... Uh, the South African team that we've got here is, is really all about teamwork. It's about sharing. So, so make sure that you uh, around innovative people, people that can drive you towards success. I think that's, that's key in this very dynamic world. Thank you so much, Simon. That was Simon Bray, CEO of Private Property. We're catching up with him. He's all the way over in Valencia supporting the SA women's hockey team there as well.